After literal years, A.G. Aonuma kindly showed us our first look at gameplay for Tears of the Kingdom. And while there's a huge amount of new details surrounding the new abilities alone, the reveal of the new enemies known as Constructs might be one of the most important details shown. These ancient robotic enemies not only confirm the existence of even more new enemies, but confirms the connection to the long speculated importance of the mysterious Zonai tribe. How do these new foes fit in an established Hyrule? What does the reveal tell us about the game at large? What exactly are the constructs? Let's find out. But before we begin, make sure you fuse your mouse to that subscribe button and turn on notifications as we search the skies for even more content on Tears of the Kingdom. The constructs, like many other things in Tears of the Kingdom, are tied directly to the fabled Zonai tribe. We'll talk later about the greater connection to them, but first let's discuss their appearance. Mesoamerican architecture and mythology are a direct inspiration for a large part of this game, and the constructs are no exception. The first construct shown is the soldier construct. These constructs mirror the design of a totem pole, with multiple separated layers that are being animated by the same green energy that we've seen tied to the arm and the mysterious stones seen across Hyrule. The constructs have a stone tile-like design with certain parts of their bodies resembling rows of teeth. We see the same design across tons of Mesoamerican statues and art, especially with serpents or with the Aztec god Quetzalcoatl. There's also the Ranger Construct. This guy was revealed all the way back in the E3 2021 trailer. While the trailer gave an extremely close view of the Ranger, the one shown in the gameplay demo gives a better idea of the scale and full appearance. The Rangers, unlike the Soldiers, appear a lot more serpentine and lean a bit more into the dragon imagery. The Ranger also has a layered totem-like body with more of the teeth and mouth-like tiles on its torso. Its long neck and arms reach out, animated by more of the same green energy. While the Ranger and Soldier were the only constructs actually shown during the presentation, the Japanese Zelda Twitter account revealed this new unnamed construct. This construct wields a bow and the dragon head flamethrower we saw in the 2021 trailer, and seemingly appears to be much larger. Safe to say, it looks a lot more threatening. The same totem inspiration can also be seen on the head portion. The horn of this construct is also seen in the UI as a craftable material. Notably, there are three eyes on it, whereas the soldier construct only has one. Many seem to think this points to varying levels of constructs found in the world. There is a gradual evolution between these three constructs. All of them have the teeth pattern, totem shape, and spindly arms powered with green energy. But even though they share a similar appearance, it doesn't look like all constructs will share the same functionality. As many people in the community have pointed out, once the soldier construct is defeated, there is no malice connected to the robot. Meaning that like the guardians in the Test of Strength Shrines in Breath of the Wild, these constructs aren't influenced by Ganondorf, but serve another purpose entirely. Where the guardians were meant to test the hero, the soldier constructs appear to play a more protective role. The soldiers seem to be patrolling and defending the Sky Islands from unwanted guests. These constructs have a laser-like glare that looks like they are scanning their surroundings, and after locating Link, sound off with an alarm. This soldier seems to be standing guard for this shrine-like structure, meaning they are more than likely trying to keep you from entering it. The ranger, however, doesn't attack Link. Instead, it seems to be tending to the trees and grounds of the Sky Islands. The rangers could be fulfilling the role of groundskeeper or gardeners, maintaining the appearance of the islands. This is something that we see monks do at Japanese temples as part of their daily rituals of purification, known as Kyomaru. Kyomaru is both inner and outer cleanliness and is viewed as a basic life philosophy. Given the huge ties to Shintoism and constant use of Karan Sansui pebble patterns, I believe the ranger constructs aren't meant to be an enemy at all and serve the purpose of keeping the sacred sky islands quote unquote purified. Seeing the rangers appear in the caves next to campfires makes me believe that they will also double as NPCs that give us quests or tasks to complete. Going off the theme of purification, it would make sense that the rangers would want us to go through the caves and take out any enemies that might be disturbing the purity of the islands. The large construct very plainly looks to be a difficult foe to fight. There's very little to go off of given all we have of this guy is this one image. What it does tell us though is that more advanced materials and fusible tools are going to be tied behind more complex creatures. 
These constructs might even be considered boss level, much like a Hinox or a Talus. Their role on the islands is possibly tied to areas of greater importance. I could see these guys blocking your path into one of these bigger structures, or maybe even temples. Enemy parts are going to play a much more important role in this game, and we can see that just from the items they drop that horns and weapons are going to be heavily used items, including the bombshell reveal of the Zonai charge. There's a strong case to be made that the constructs are the natural replacement for the Guardians, replacing our ancient technology with even older, more primal technology. The Zonai Charge, as pointed out by many others, heavily resembles the Guardian Cores, meaning that this could be an item used in many ways. Armor upgrades, weapon crafting, vehicle uses are all distinct possibilities. Additionally, there's the variety of materials they can drop. It's very quick, but at the very beginning of the gameplay presentation, you can see a group of constructs on the surface near these ruins, meaning for one that these enemies aren't restricted to the islands, but will also pop up around Hyrule. These soldier constructs are actually different in a major way compared to the ones on the islands. These soldiers have an axe head instead of a blade for a horn. So not only do the constructs appear across the whole game, it's possible that the materials gained from them could differ significantly depending upon the area. There's also a chance that constructs can use the fuse ability just like Link. We see this construct wielding a fused fan type weapon. We don't know if this was an item dropped by Link or if this soldier crafted it itself. I think most of us probably reacted the same when we finally saw confirmation that the Zonai are playing a huge part in this game. It was all but confirmed up to this point, but knowing now that all the theorizing community-wide was right, we can get a better understanding of not only the constructs, but a better understanding of the overall plot. All the mystery surrounding the Zonai now has a paper trail that can be tracked. We know for sure that the Zonai didn't disappear from history, and that just because they suddenly vanished doesn't mean they were wiped from the record books. No, it's much more likely now that the Zonai have been hidden away until something prompted them to return. The constructs are very exciting just from a new enemy point of view, but all the gameplay and lore implications this new class of Zelda creature presents makes them one of the most anticipated things in Tears of the Kingdom. But you guys let me know, do you like the constructs and what excites you about them? Let me know in the comments section down below. That of course will bring us to the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching as always, and please make sure you're subscribed and like the video if you liked it. Feel free to follow me on all my socials, links will be down in the description. And that's going to do it for me guys, until next time, I'll see you in the next one.